Hey guys, what's up? Yixarb here, and I'm bringing it back with Cars, the video game. Welcome back to my walkthrough. Anyway, before we begin, I'm gonna try to max out at 180 miles an hour. So I'm just gonna let my boost constantly refill and then just use it up. Whoa. Glitchy. Glitchy, glitchy. <laughs> try to avoid some cars. Our 155s are, well, a little past 155s are max. Yeah, there's 173. Maybe we could do it, but honestly, the stretch of road isn't big enough. Yeah, 173 seems to be the max. We're going to need at least one more boost canister to really have a uh, realistic hope of reaching 180 miles an hour. But uh, in case it wasn't clear, once you surpass about 155, 157, uh, your speed will gradually go down if you don't have any more boosts. So we can hit 180, but if we don't have the boost to keep it up, it's going to go back down. Anyway, we've got a new event here, and uh, I figured since it's the shorter one, we'll just go with that. North Desert Dash. Let's just jump right on in. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we've got a bigger event after this, and I figured that'll probably be the bulk of the video, so get the smaller stuff out of the way now, and then go into the big stuff. You know how it is. Dreadfully careless, aren't they? Positively killed it. Too true. They are loving my gold. Now, why go, my dear? This is all about winning. You cannot take first place if you do not look the part. Oh, and how do you know you can best us in the next competition? Easy. I see you have silver on your rims. He's got a point there. Now, some can, and frankly, some do, argue the car is a little racist slash prejudice in some ways, like that. I mean, clearly whatever the green car's name is, I can't, I can't remember what it was, uh, the name and his accent and his car type, frankly, uh, all point to him being Latino. You know, that's, that's just what Cars does. And then the other guys are clearly British, clearly English. So, it's just things like that that make people think that. Honestly, I find it quite entertaining. There we go. One epic jump. We're probably going to fuck it up. Oh, no. No, we got it. Good. Uh, sometimes I don't like having those uh, little um, uh, scenes of you in the air because it kind of screws you up. You can't really see where you're going, but whatever. We got quite a few shortcuts to go through here. Oh, look. This is another race where you can enter this area. That's awesome, right? A nice special privilege. Oh, that wall pretty good. Luckily, we got boost to save us. Anyway, yeah, uh, me, I'm not a huge gold wheel kind of guy. I like it on some things, like WRX STIs. Um, <laughs> what else? Some white cars can pull it off. Really depends on if it's a gold coloring or like a 24 karat plating. Uh, yeah, it all, it all sort of depends. But yeah, I'm not here to just talk about realistic car stuff. Let's talk about regular uh, cars, Pixar stuff as well. Yeah. Anyway, at this point, you guys have probably seen, and if you haven't, this isn't really a spoiler because they've already been out for a little bit of time, but you've seen all of our new series, except for NBA 2K, which I've already explained why it hasn't come out yet. So otherwise, you've seen Forza, this, and Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft I was particularly excited about. I was really excited to get to this walkthrough, let me tell you, but uh, Minecraft we've been working on since uh, early February, and to have it finally come out and finally start getting feedback from fans, it's, it's really great. And this game, I mean, I expected it to do well. I mean, people have been waiting on this one for a while now, and I'm glad I can finally give it to you guys. Yeah, I've had a lot of people ask me about it. Um, what was it? It was almost two years ago now when I decided to delete all my old videos. And everyone was like, what the heck? Why'd you delete cars? Why'd you delete cars? Didn't you used to have a cars walkthrough? Oh, man, why'd you have to delete it? It was my favorite walkthrough of yours. Oh, it was the best cars walkthrough on YouTube, whatever, whatever. It just nothing but and then on several of my uh walkthroughs i've done this year they're like oh hey when's cars coming out hey maybe you should think about doing cars sometime soon and uh it wasn't the pressure from the people that actually got me to do it i was actually planning on doing this uh now actually real fast to clarify what i mean by when i started up youtube again i mean when forza motorsport 4 came back 
I mean, I came back when when I released Forza Motorsport 4, my series, and Bosnia and Cheese came back with me and started doing Resident Evil 5, and I did Sonic Adventure DX, all that. That's when I consider YouTube quote unquote starting. Now that's not my the beginning of my career, and all the stuff I'm referencing is from the same channel, but way back from 2011 to 2013. So that's what I'm talking about in case you guys are a little confused and you're new to the channel. But I planned on starting out with cars, actually, uh, before I went to Sonic Adventure DX, but honestly what it was was, it's gonna, it's gonna sound kind of silly, but I got to the third episode, which ended up being tractor tipping, and I was working on it just fine, it was all going well, and then the video ended up uh, being corrupted somehow, I don't know what happened exactly, but that tends to happen to me a few times, every now and then, every walkthrough basically. And it really sucked. I was like, you know what? I'm just so not motivated now. And since I was so early in the walkthrough I f and I hadn't uploaded anything yet, I felt confident just saying, all right, let's just cancel this for now and we'll come back to it later when I feel good about it. Because I've explained this before. If I'm not going to have fun with something, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it just for the sake of you guys. Not to say I won't listen to you guys or take into consideration your feelings uh, when it comes to what I'm doing on the channel, but in that case, it was just, yeah, let's just try again another time because this is a walkthrough a lot of you have been in, uh, anticipating and now that it's finally here I hope it's what you expected I hope it's better than what you expected in fact because it wouldn't have been this good if I tried it back then I just wasn't in the mood for it I'm just not gonna do it I'm not gonna have fun with it so I hope you guys can res I hope you guys can respect that but yeah um, that basically like I said before uh, just leaves NBA 2k uh, basically Bosnian Cheese is going to get to that whenever he's done. Actually, the day you're seeing this is the day he's meeting with a surgeon to figure out if A, he needs surgery, which he probably does, and B, when he's going to do the surgery. And then after that, he'll be like, all right, well, now I can start doing videos again. Well, not right after the surgery, whenever he recovers, basically. So we'll keep you guys in the loop on that. And um, the best way to find out most quickly and efficiently at least is by going to our Facebook page the link to which is down in the description uh, pretty easy to find pretty easy to follow I'm sure you guys have been on Facebook before hopefully anyway let's just huh <sighs> yeah I don't know if there's a cutscene after this but I'll just be quiet anyway and just cut the rest of this loading screen all right no cutscene cool stuff so yeah there we go now let's go meet up with Sarge who is a classic military type Jeep uh, which I totally dig. That's just one of the simplest vehicles. I'd love to just sit in one. It's just so simple. So simple. But this is going to be kind of one of those uh, events that's similar to Doc's p Lesson Power Slide, where you start out like a, with a mini game kind of, and then you end up at a race. That's what this is. But this is a particularly longer mini game. Not as long as tractor tipping, but it does take some time. So let's just jump right in. You were scheduled to be here at 0100, soldier. <laughs> Sarge, I'm not really a soldier. You are now, Private. Ten yes, sir. I can't hear you, McQueen. Yes, sir. Better. Now, Doc said you are sorely in need of some formal off-road training. And by the looks of you, I'd say he's right. You're in my army now, son. So get down on your wheels and kiss the asphalt goodbye. Let's move it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is oh too my. hard. Come on, you gas guzzling sissies. I know you all got V8s. <laughs> I didn't get my latte. Have you ever even been off road? I want you to wade into that mud. Eat that dirt. Now, your first task is to make it around this course. Double time and clear all obstacles. Do not falter. Failure is not an option. No faltering. Check. Here we are. First event. Now this is basically where they teach you how to jump if you haven't figured it out already or if you haven't been listening to me. Uh, basically, we're timed. And actually, I just skipped what time we were supposed to get, but either way, it's not that difficult. Oh, we got four minutes. So basically, you want to jump these obstacles. We got three laps of this. It's basically like a regular race, but with ourselves. It's like a time trial. And it is a boot camp. Jump. 
Uh, now this tunnel, you're gonna see me fucking up all the time. I always end up on the wall. I don't know how to make it through here quickly and not hit the wall. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy me hitting that wall every time. Got tires to... Wow, that was a fail. Power slided a little too hard there. Now, uh, something that I should probably point out. Now, I don't know if this is just because the noise suffers. Okay, yeah, it is just the noise. Okay, so if you go on the boost and then you quickly go off the boost and try to go back on it, you won't hear a boost noise. But that's not because you don't, you're do not you not getting boost. It's just there's no noise. So it looks like boom. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you noticed there. It was, I'll show you one more time uh, as soon as we get our boost back. Oh, turn. Uh, yeah, always in the wall. Literally always in the wall. There we go. Now, when we make this next turn, when we go around this next big U, I'll show you guys. I just want to make sure I have the space to do it. Alright, listen. Yeah, you see? For the last half there, you couldn't hear a thing. So, for the longest time, I was about to tell you guys too. It's like, oh, for the longest time, I, th I thought... Um, that you just couldn't get boost if you try to go back on it really quick. But, looks like you can. And man, I'm really bad at this. I'm hitting every wall. Honestly, I don't know how not to. I mean, the only way not to is to slow down severely. And honestly, you might be saving time by not doing that. Oh, yeah. You know, it's probably silly to think of uh, this video game slash this universe in too realistic of a setting. But I've always thought, you know... I mean... Okay, basically, how does money work? That's that's the real question I have here. I mean, it's like, like in the movie when Lightning, quote unquote, helps everyone out in town by buying stuff from them. But wh where does he have money? Does he have money? What do they pay with? I mean, what makes someone rich? I mean, I, I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I don't know, not. Maybe I am most definitely overthinking it. Okay, did I just? Crush a sign? Wow. I love it. I dig it. This time I'm not going to power slide through here because I've just been crashing by doing that. Alright, now here, see, I want to power slide this corner, but I can't. I have to slow down to like 30 miles an hour and then go. So see, it's a point like that where it's like, it sure it doesn't look as clean and it doesn't feel as clean, but just ram it. Just ram the wall. It'll be faster. We got the second level to this place, as you can see, like right to the left of us. Uh, we can't really make it up there in a convenient manner, at least, right now. Uh, but this isn't the first time we're going to be going around this track, so don't worry. We'll, we'll have another chance. Oh, that's probably a little too fast. Nope, you made it. You still made it good. I probably should show off what happens if you just hit these. That. <laughs> he, showed, he showed you for me. So there we go. Next level. Actually, I didn't see how many trophy points we got for that level, but we'll see here in a second. Not bad, but now the course is different. It will require different skills. You will need to be agile, fit, athletic, and adaptable. <laughs> You've been reading my press, haven't you, Sarge? Although you left out sleek, charming, and dashing. Okay, I'm going. All right, here we go again. We get three this time. I don't know how much we got last time, but whatever. Let's just do this. Boost. Boost off the line. All right, let's see. This is what happens when you hit one. Slows you down a pretty good amount. I want to see how much, though. Oh, wow. 30, 40 miles an hour. We don't want to hit those. Yeah, let's just continue. We got four minutes yet again. Uh, now, the course is different, but it's still, taking, it's still the same distance and all. Yeah, I'm going to be hitting that wall. Deal with it. Jump. Uh, the tires are aligned differently here. Honestly, more annoying than before. Uh, see, you have to slow down to this speed to be able to get through without crashing too much. Uh, I, you can try power sliding through here, but it really doesn't work out well. Oh, that was awful. Please, just... Wow, I should make the screen go black at that point or something, because that's just so embarrassing. Uh, here, add a couple of tire walls. Nothing too crazy. I'm looking for more signs to knock over. I want to see if it's possible. We'll see. And look, we add barbed wire here. You know, like the typical army crawl in boot, in, uh, boot camp. I thought that was pretty cool. Got a bridge here. If you go down here, which I will, you have these uh, radioactive canisters. 
That'll kill you. No, you won't die. But they are there to act as obstacles. Oh, shoot. That was awful. Uh, now those, as you saw, there was... Uh, these were double stacked. If you run into those, not only will it slow you down extra, but if you're also not going fast enough when you jump or, you know, jump at the right time, you'll probably hit one of them or a couple. Okay. Get back down there. Okay. Oh, well, that helped us. Yeah, you'll probably hit one or a couple of them. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's annoying. They slow you down. Look at that. that whoa, that was good. Didn't have to go down to 30. We, we were able to stick at 80 that time. Oh, accidentally went on the boost. Go on the boost now. And I saw where the signs were, so don't worry. The next lap, those are going down. I know this is actually probably going to end up being a little bit of a longer oh, yeah. video, which I'm sure a lot of you are fine with, but honestly, I wasn't expecting it. I don't remember Sarge's boot camp being this long. But uh, I'm actually okay with longer events as long as they're, you know, racing events. Uh, like Luigi to the Rescue, uh, I'm not really looking forward to doing that one. I'd say if there was any event that was my least favorite, it would be that one. Now, this is one of those situations where it's like a Resident Evil 4 situation where you get into the game, you're like, oh god, I hate the castle. Oh, I hate the island. Oh, I hate regenerators. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate that. But you really love the game as a whole. That's kind of how this is. It's like, oh, I hate tractor tipping. Oh, Luigi to the rescue? Forget that. Oh, the Piston Cup races aren't, ex aren't as exciting as they could be. Oh, long events. Oh. Yeah. I really just like it all together. I might sound like a whiny kind of guy, but I do like it as a whole. Oh, look at that. We're making it. Oh, God. I was going to say, oh, we added 10 miles an hour to our uh, average speed there. However, we lost it all right there at the end. Are the signs up here? I think so. Let's see, I'm not gonna jump this, just to see. No? Oh, I must have missed them. Oh well, don't worry. Uh, in case it wasn't a surprise, I mean, in case it wasn't totally clear yet, uh, we're gonna have to do this another time. We're gonna have to come back to this track once more. Oh wow, get back down there. Yeah, once you're down here, you're basically forced to crash. If you go around them, you'll save much time, but yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. Still got 25 seconds. As long as we make it within the time, I'm not worried. I'm just crashing like crazy here. Yes! Finally. Let's see. Oh, now we got 5 out of 10. So that means that first one got us like 1 or 2. I can't remember. Anyway, we just got one more. So let's go. All right. One last test. And it'll require all of your muscle. All of your cunning. I want horsepower. I want focus. I want ingenuity, agility, and endurance. Uh, I want some coolant. Move it! No rest for the weary, Private McQueen. All right, let's go. We got four minutes, 15 seconds this time, and we're going to get a whole five trophy points. That's good. There we go. It's a good thing wheel spin isn't a real big factor in this game, because otherwise we'd be screwed. Here we go. Three to jump over. That jumps kind of hard at times, so don't don't hate yourself if you end up failing the first try. You know, it's not a huge deal. Wow. You really ended up on the wall there. All right, this sign. This is the sign. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's... Wow. That looks hilarious. <laughs> they really programmed the physics well in this game. Anyway, here we got stairs. And then, oh God, this awful turn. I hate you. I'm going to try using the E-brake next time we go around, if I remember. We got hanging tires here. Tire pendulums. Or pendulums. I've been saying quite a few things with British accents as of late. It's Top Gear that makes me do that. God, I hope you guys have seen Top Gear. That's such an awesome show. Now here, we finally have the top portion of this revealed to us. Now it is worth going slow because if you go down there you're gonna have to run into a bunch of radioactive canisters again and those slow you down incredibly. Now this bridge has holes in it. Rather than driving around them you can jump them. Look at that. That's one of the first times in a long time I've actually made it properly. Oh crap! Oh, man that was awful. Get to it. Now these time constraints, if you're crashing you know several times each lap Oh, wow. Go, go, go faster. We have to go faster if we want to have any chance of making this. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, if you're crashing several times a lap, you're probably not going to make it within the time limit, so you better try to keep it clean. Okay, get off the wall. 
That doesn't help keep us clean. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so glad the sign's back. Alright, I'll try I'll try not to get too distracted with the sign. Okay, here we go. E-break time. This time... Oh, crap. Go. Oh, God. It wouldn't let me jump. Oh, jeez. This is bad. E-break. Okay, well, that slowed us down a lot, but at least we didn't go into the wall. I don't know. You basically get to decide what's worse. Oh, shoot. Jump good. Yeah, jump good. Alright, let's stay up here again. It helped us last time. Oh, crap. Oh, I guess they don't block the entire way, so if you can dodge them well, you'll be good. Cool. If we can avoid this place under the bridge, we'll be good. Now, what I would recommend doing, especially if you know there's a jump coming up on this course, uh, is constantly hold hold down uh, the control stick just so you, all you have to do is flick up. Because if you don't, you're going to have to flick down and then up, and then that just adds to your time. Oh, God, this is so slow. Come on. Oh, it's so stressful. Uh, we probably won't make it with too much time to spare, but we should make it. We should make it just fine. I still love how there's a boot camp for cars. Alright, let's see. This time we're going to try the e-brake here with actual speed. We're not going to crash into these. Well, that slowed us down considerably, but it did help. I don't, I don't tend to use the e-brake all that much in this game. I just kind of forget it, it's even there. Whoa. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Right, let's, actually, let's try using it up here as well. Maybe, it's, maybe it'll be a helpful thing. No, not really. Oh, it'll slow me down and then get me nowhere but a ditch. Yeah. Haven't run into a ditch yet in my life. Hopefully we can avoid that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Crap, we got 34 seconds. Go. 30. Oh, we'll make it. Oh, we'll still make it. We can crash into everything from here and still be fine. Jump these good. Good. Yeah, jump them good. Oh, there we go. Thank God we're done with that, right? Save, save, and save. All right, guys. Well, that's it. This event, this event ended up taking a little bit longer than I wanted. So I'll just see you guys in the next episode. Bye.